This is Great Things Happening in Community Banking. I think we're a unique institution, extremely unique. First of all, we are a community bank in a metropolitan city. You know, you go back 10, 20, 30, 40 years, uh, the Wasatch Front and Salt Lake Valley is a different place than it was historically. So all of a sudden the community became metro. There's, there's really a blending of city boundaries and county boundaries. And so you're not able to operate like many smaller community banks across the country. Salt Lake currently has a population of over 1.5 million. However, we have tried to stay true to our community roots and the founding of the bank. We're unique in the aspect that we are owner-operators. Um, there's fewer and fewer of us. We did not come from the traditional banking environment like so many banks. And so uh, John Sorensen and myself is part of the executive committee and our board of directors that we know very well. Uh, we, can, we can analyze the situation and make a decision and adapt very quickly. We actually make the decision versus you sitting across the table from someone who does not make the decision. And that's a huge advantage that we have over our com competition. The landscape, the competitive landscape of the business has changed dramatically. So you have the uh, creation of uh, many and large credit unions. You have many uh, non-bank lenders that have entered the marketplace. So what you've got to do is you've got to figure out a way to take the benefits of community banking, which is that personal contact and relationship. You've got to find new ways to deliver it to the marketplace. The nimbleness of Home Savings Bank has been a great tribute to the bank and its ability to uh, be in business for over 50 years. Uh, if you go to other institutions, uh, whether they're credit unions or regional banks or national banks or even non-banks, they've got a very uh, structured organization. They've got a, a, a set array of products uh, that have been predetermined, that have certain very narrow approval requirements and so we're able to take all of that and dismantle it. Every year there continues to be an erosion of independent banks and our primary goal is to maintain our independence. That's number one. Number two is to continue to offer a quality product not only to our depositors but also to our loan customers. Most banking institutions do not put in the time, effort and attention that we can put in. And so we're looking for those borrowers that need that, and we can deliver that. 